Are you wondering if you can drive with a tinted visor like this in your country or state? Just check my video and I'll, you'll know everything you need to know. Let's go. Just some pros and cons about tinted visors. Of course, the biggest pro is the visor protects your eyes from the sun. I'm usually a guy who um, is irritated by the sun quite easily, so I like tend to close my eyes when I don't wear sunglasses. Um, this, so this visor just works for me. I use it all year long, as I said before. Um, it's great because I don't have to wear sunglasses underneath my, um, underneath my uh, helmet. I can just wear it like this. The negative thing about uh, a tinted visor is, of course, the fact that others cannot see your eyes. So people cannot see if you saw them. Um, that's why in my country, for example, tinted windows on cars are not allowed because you cannot make eye contact. The same goes with the, the tinted visor. Uh, the good part though is that you can see where the helmet is going. So if the helmet moves left or right, you can assume that the rider looks left or right. So um, it's not such a big problem as the problem of tinted uh, windows on a car in my opinion. And last but not visibility. Um, friends of mine who don't have a visor like this, they keep asking me like, what's the visibility like? They assume that you can't see anything. Um, actually, the visibility is perfect. Like I said, I use it during the winter as well. You can compare it with the built-in visor. So this one also has it. Maybe your helmet has it as well. You have this sun visor. Uh, it's like a, um, yeah, like a uh, sunglass. Actually, it's just sunglasses. Um, it's similar. Um, the fact that this looks darker doesn't mean that it, let, the visibility is bad. The thing is, it looks darker because the, there is like no um, light coming out of the helmet. So that's why you cannot see someone's eyes. If I would put a flashlight inside the helmet with the visor down, you could see the, the, the flashlight. Um, how can I show you this? I can put the visor in front of the camera and I'll show you what it's like. It's just a tiny part, but as you can see, you can see through. And that's actually what I see when I'm wearing the helmet. So um, it's the best way to, to show it, I think. Although, let me try something else. Okay, so this is quite some experiment. I just put my helmet on top of the camera. It's on a tripod and the helmet is on top. Looks really funny. Um, I'm going to close the visor to show you what I see when I wear the helmet. I have no clue if you can see it, but I'll have to find out when I'm going to edit the video. So let's go ahead and close it. So hopefully you can see everything now, but you can see that things aren't blacked out. They're just less bright. You can still see stuff behind me, hopefully. Um, and that just shows what I see when I'm wearing the, the tinted or the blacked visor, blacked out visor. Um, so it works for me. It keeps the bright sun out of my eyes. Uh, it should probably also work for you. So if you ask me, you should just buy it, go for it. But before you do so, check if it's allowed in your state or country because it's not allowed in every single place. Go to motorgearexpert.com slash tinted and I'll make a whole list of all countries and states and tell you if you can use this visor or not. So I'll see you in the next video.